I tried knitting in 2015, gave up on that almost immediately and figured crocheting was out of the, out of the picture, but. Hey, I'm Danny. Welcome to my channel. I noticed during editing that my intro didn't turn out, but I should still probably introduce myself. I'm always starting new hobbies and crocheting is my newest one. Well, I guess YouTube is about to be my newest one, but we'll see. Okay, back to showing you what I crocheted in my first two months as a beginner. It is so fun. I actually want to continue doing it until I get better. And even if I don't get better, I, I would still do this. So I started crocheting December 28th, 2022, thanks to my parents giving me this beautiful gift of a beginner crochet set. I'm going to try to go in the order in which I made things. Of course, the first things I made were like a coaster and um, a cozy like this one. I don't have a cup near me. I have this bottle of water. So nice little simple cozy, things like that. Um, just like everyone else starts with, but I couldn't go too deep into those without actually making something that was a big project. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to see something done and be able to use it. So I kind of hopped into projects prematurely, but I learned a lot from all of them. So the next thing I made was a basket bag. I didn't have bulky yarn, but I wanted to make this bag that was made from bulky yarn. And so I found this YouTube video that tells you how to make bulky yarn from regular um four worsted yarn the next thing i did was buy a huge haul of yarn from joanne fabrics and one of the yarns that i got was a bulky yarn and with that i made my infinity scarf so this infinity scarf you know i've worn it so much this winter it's so warm it's everything that you need out of a scarf um, and it has it unraveled. So for my first real project, I was very happy about that. Next thing I made was this ear warmer headband thing. And it's made from the same yarn, so it matches. Not that I would necessarily wear the matching set together, but whatever. It matches if you want it to match. And I wore that all January, February as well. The next thing I did was something for the top half and um it's wearable i started with the pattern in the front and um i realized that this was going to be way too big for the fit that it was supposed to have so i kind of improv the back I was not qualified to improv the back. This is my second project, but I did it anyway. And I gotta say, it, it didn't turn out too bad. It didn't turn out too bad. It's not the, it's not a perfect thing. None of these things are, but um, you know, um, I'd wear it. Next thing I made was shorts to go with it. I mean, these shorts are um, a little, big but at least they have the drawstring so they cinch up covers everything it needs to cover next thing i made was a hat i was ready to make a real hat instead of just the headband and so I, one of the yarns that i got one of the skeins skeins that i bought was this bright orange one and i said okay this will be a nice summer spring hat um let's go for a bucket hat it, it didn't make it to the bucket hat, but it is a hat. And actually what it reminded me of was this bright orange visor with a swimsuit set that I wore to my eighth grade, uh, my eighth grade pool party. And I'm not a bright color wearer. It was like a last minute, let's get a new bathing suit for the eighth grade pool party. So I took inspiration from that and I decided to make um, a matching set for that. This is just one of the granny squares that I made, but I have this halter, this halter with the granny squares at the bottom and 
the skirt that goes along with it, nice little fringe at the bottom. And um, overall, I'm very happy with this set. Never in my imagination did I think I would finish so many projects. And that's not even, that's not even the ending. <laughs> By this point, I had made a top, a whole to top, skirt, shorts, and I said, how do you make pants? Let's learn how to make pants. Not only did I want to make pants, I wanted to make them fast. I didn't want to spend weeks and weeks on some pants. So these are the bottoms of the pants. I got some little bell bottom, be Beverly Bell bell bottom. This is, see, they're not even, they're not even equal. Um, and you got to wear something underneath this. But I made them. I understand, in theory, how to make pants now. So let's take a break from the wearables. And let's go back to making a bag. But making a bigger bag and something that functions better than the little basket bag that I made in the beginning. This actually has stuff in it right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is... This is my bag, farmer's market bag. I take it to the store, I take it wherever I want to. It, yeah, this might be the most, the closest to perfect thing that I made. Maybe the infinity scarf too. Everything else is a little, a little off the pattern, but this one I think really held true to the pattern. Like, I actually, I genuinely use this bag. This was something that went wrong. Now it's a coaster. It's, it's a coaster. It's a very thick coaster. I, I don't know. Then I also made this bow. I haven't tried the amigurumi, like, little dolls and stuff. But I wanted to see what stuffing something's like. Plus, I had a lot of scrap yarn. So this is filled with the scrap yarn. Then I said, I need a summer wardrobe. I need to start, I need to get that. I need to get my summer wardrobe started, start practicing because by the time summer comes, I want to be able to wear stuff, stuff that I make. And so I made this tank top. It's a little wonky, but you know, you could tell it's a tank top. I actually took so long making this that I had to stop. The straps were not supposed to be this little tie thing. I just, I live, I just couldn't, I couldn't keep going. And um, we'll see, we'll see if I end up wearing it. And then we have this shrug. And um, yeah, it's a little wide at the top, but I like it. I'm just got the little flared arms, little, little baggy thing, little baggy thing going on. I like it a lot. And last but not least, this hat looks huge because it is, but it's a slouchy hat with a brim, with a brim or peak, whatever you call it in the crocheting world. But um, it's for my mom and she wanted a, slouch, a really big slouchy hat. It's my first time making a slouchy hat. So this might be maybe a little big, but it works. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. So. That's that's all we can go for at this point. Oh, I completely forgot right behind me. Uh, the last thing, well, actually the hat was the last thing I made, but the last thing to show you that I made in January and February is this wall art. I wanted to try something wall art and I wanted to try something with zigzags. So this is the end result. And I think this crocheting experience has taught me to just embrace the imperfections and be excited about making progress. I'm happy with the things that I made. It's only been two months and I'm actually finished the project, number one, um, and made things that I would actually wear from time to time. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking through this, through all the stuff that I've made in my first two months as a beginner. And, uh, I hope you stick with me. Can't say everything will be about crocheting, but most likely a lot of it will be. Okay, see ya.